friends welcome to lecture number 25 that is selenium grid in java in this course selenium web driver in java so in this particular lecture i will explain you how you can set up the selenium grid so that you can test the applications on various browsers at the same time say for example you are designing a website and you want to ensure that the website looks all good or there are no bugs in the website uh, and uh, different different browsers like internet explorer firefox chrome at the same time then how you can do that testing at the same time so the selenium grid is actually used for that purpose you can test your application on a different platforms and browsers at the same time using selenium grid concept so normally what happens is that your selenium client or the selenium code directly talks to the selenium web driver that is chrome driver to automate the chrome browser and uh, say internet explorer driver to automate the internet explorer and so on but in selenium grid what happens is there is a remote control server in the middle and then remote control server talks to the grid servers like a node server it is also called as node server this remote control server is also called as hub and nodes are registered to it so here in this figure you will notice that there are three nodes registered to this remote control server and when uh, if you want to automate say on the chrome then what happens is or say internet explorer your code will send uh, the commands to this uh, server also called as hub then a hub uh, checks like uh, out of the registered nodes which has the capability to run that particular commands so depending upon the desired capabilities that you have set up in your code this hub will select the appropriate node and then start the execution on that particular node so for example if uh, you set the desired capabilities at say internet explorer where you mentioned the browser name as internet explorer this hub is gonna select this particular node say if you want to run the it on the firefox with the desired capabilities of the firefox if here the browser name is firefox this particular hub will select this node because this node has got this firefox installed so one node can have multiple browsers at the same time set up so that uh, this particular node may run internet explorer at the same time as uh, chrome as well but at a time only one session can be created between hub and node so that is the overall picture of the selenium grid main advantage of this particular concept is that you can execute your tests on multiple platforms and browsers at the same time so let us dive into the code and then i will explain you how you can set up the grid and then also execute the program or run the tests so here i have created one example grid test test class so there are some steps that you need to follow to set up the grid first of all you need to as i said there is a hub and there are uh, nodes so uh, grid nodes so first of all you need to start the hub and for that you need to execute this particular command java jar here you have to give the selenium standalone server dot jar file then role as hub and then it will be started as the hub so i have already installed this selenium server dot jar that i have downloaded that file from the selenium hq website so for that i will go to that particular file and then start that server so over here if i go to softwares here there is a selenium server this one and i am gonna start it so the command to start it is that server is this one java jar here you have to give the name of this uh, selenium server whatever name is is that file then you have to specify a role as hub and then hit enter what will happen is it will start the server and its role is hub as you can see it is saying the launching selenium grid hub and it is saying selenium grid hub is up and running it also shows nodes should register to this particular url so this url is required if you want uh, some uh, node to register to this particular hub so you can execute the tests on uh, like 
on another laptop or another computer or the also called as node and only thing is that that node should be registered to this particular server at this particular address so our sir hub is uh, up and running now let us go to the next step next step is like adding or uh, registering the node to that particular server let me show you the ip address of this particular pc this is the ip config and uh, you can notice that this is the ip4 address 2.5 of this particular pc so what i'm gonna do is that and you can also look at the server at this particular url so you can uh, notice that uh, in this particular uh, serenium hub setup or grid setup there is no node uh, configured as of now because we haven't registered any node to this particular hub that's why it is showing blank screen over here as soon as we register a new node this particular uh, uh, url will show the grid that is uh, registered to the hub so next step is starting the or uh, registering the node and for that you have to execute this command java jar server dot jar now the cell name uh, server dot jar this file is actually the same as this one only difference is that here we are using role as node and here we are specifying the url at which we want to register and this port it, it can be any free port on the another laptop or the node so i'm gonna start this uh, execute this command on other laptop that i have got and register my node to that particular hub so here is my hub up and running now i am gonna execute there that command that i showed you this command on the another laptop and then see what happens all right so i have started that particular node on the another laptop and i have also registered that one so if you refresh this particular url you will notice that i have registered this node and this is the ip address of my laptop 2.5 so hub is running on this particular ip address 2.5 and we have this node running on the 2.4 and you can see that it uh, supports this browsers firefox and red explorer and chrome you can also look at the configuration of that particular node so this is timeout cleanup cycle host ip address maximum sessions then capabilities of that particular node then hub to which it has been registered so hub host is like this is so that is the current laptop and this is the remote host that is the remote node so one node is registered similarly you can register multiple nodes as well and now let us try to execute one test on this particular node for that what you have to do is you have to this is not required because you will have to set this particular path on the node itself so i'm just gonna comment this particular line and here you notice that instead of chrome driver i have taken remote web driver because tests are going to be run on the remote uh, remotely that is on the remote node and here you have to give the hub address not the nodes address so this is the address where the hub is running to accept the connections from the client so this code is the client for us and here we are passing the desired capable results chrome that what it means that we want to tell the hub that okay we want to run the tests on the chrome so hub will select appropriate node out of uh, given node so hub has the specific list of the registered nodes so out of that it will select uh, one of the idle node and then start executing the tests on that particular node so if you execute this particular test let us see what happens now
So here you can notice that uh, we have got one no node registered in the log as well. And you will not uh, see anything over here in this particular laptop because execution is going to happen on the node. That is this IP address. And execution is actually started on the other laptop. You cannot see that, but I can see that on another laptop. And the process has finished as well. Our test has passed as well. So I'm going to print the title as well because you can't see anything. So I just want to make sure that you will at least see the IP address, uh, sorry, the title of that page. So I'm going to print the title of that particular page so that you will get the confidence that tests are actually running. Otherwise, you may say that I am fooling you. So just start running the code. And our hub is running over here. Here it will display everything like to which node it is per, uh, trying to connect. So whenever we try to execute code, it says that got a request to create a new session and then it tries to create the new session. So as you can see, it is saying that trying to create a new session on the test slot. And test was executed on the another laptop. And if you look at the output, here is it has printed the title so that is how you can uh, set up the grid it is really important concept your uh, nodes can be running on the mac or say any other system like uh, windows 7 windows 10 on different browsers so at the same time you can execute the tests on multiple browsers like instead of giving here chrome you can give uh, a firefox internet explorer etc safari if you want to run the tests on safari so it's really pretty concept and just to rewind what we have seen in this particular lecture i will explain you uh, i explain you the selenium grid how it is uh, set up we have got the hub and uh, we execute or send the commands to the hub and then hub say, uh, like there are nodes registered to the hub and then when the hub gets this uh, request for the new session it selects the appropriate node depending upon the capabilities and then it starts execution on that particular node remember that uh, like chrome driver or the internet explorer driver should be available on that particular node and uh, to execute the, uh, specify that file starting the node here i have not uh, specified that particular parameter but here you will need to pass that parameter webdriver.chrome.driver and this should be run on the node like this is equal to here you need to give that path of the server uh, that chrome driver say c colon whatever is the path where driver.ex is there and this command should be executed on the node laptop so that is how you can set up the grid and execute your test on different platforms. I hope you enjoyed this lecture and stay tuned for more lectures on Selenium.